Hi guys. All right. So while I wait for some people to hop on the live video, um, I'm going to check and make sure that I'm in the right place on Facebook. Okay. I am. All right. So I've had so many people reach out to me, like in our Cincy group and, um, people that aren't in our Cincy group, just like on Instagram and stuff about what they can do to earn this incentive trip and things that I do in my business on a daily basis that help me earn these incentive trips. Because honestly, like I don't do anything different during an incentive period that I don't do on a regular basis because since he puts the qualifications and the point structure based around product or things that you should be doing in your business anyway, right? So if you're already working your business in the correct ways, you should earn these trips by default. And that's honestly how I've fallen in the top 100 or the top 50 so many times is because I just do these things already. All right, I see all the comments. Hi guys. Okay, so first of all, there are a few things that I add at the beginning of an incentive period. So I always set a goal when I hear what the trips are. Um, this year, I heard you can earn Orlando, you can earn Hawaii, or you can earn Bora Bora for the top 50. Now, I go to Orlando all the time, and I'm gonna be there either way because that's where Cincy Reunion is. Um, so Hawaii sounds amazing, but that was my first ever incentive trip that I went on. Um, and then Bora Bora. So I'm shooting for Bora Bora and I heard another consultant say this the other day and I was like, gosh, that's so true. So my goal is Bora Bora, but if I fall short, I'm gonna find myself in Hawaii, like rough life, right? So I'm setting my goal really, really high for myself because if I fall short, I'm still gonna earn an incentive trip. So if you're setting a goal for like Orlando and you fall short, you won't earn an incentive trip. So you should set your goal really high and really scary and something that's gonna make you work really hard because if you fall short, you'll still earn an incentive trip. So I set my goal, that's the first thing that I do and then I figure out how I'm gonna get there. So there are so many different ways and the point structure is really different this time. So to earn a trip for two, which is I definitely suggest you shoot for at least earning the trip for two, to Hawaii, you have to have 60,000 points and 9,600 of those have to be sponsoring points. And that seems really, really high compared to like past incentives, but they changed the point structure and all of it's broken down really well in your workstation. Um, but they're given points for things that we didn't use to get points for. So if you sponsor three or more people that promote to lead, like you get, you get extra points for all of these things. That's totally doable, but if you don't have a goal and somewhat of like a path in mind, like you're not going to be able to get there. Like you need a map, right? You need smaller goals that are broke down to get you to your bigger goal. Because if you just say, I want 60,000 points in the next six months and 9,600 of them have to be sponsoring, but you don't know how you're gonna get there or you don't have smaller goals to achieve along the way, you're gonna get lost on your journey to earning this incentive trip smaller goals are always way more obtainable than one huge, big, scary goal. And if you're accomplishing these goals along the way, you're gonna feel so much more accomplished and proud of yourself that you're doing that. And it was, it's gonna give you the motivation to continue on this journey. My first incentive trip to Hawaii, I was only a consultant for a year or two. And the only reason I hadn't earned before that is because I honestly didn't even pay any attention to it. I wasn't working it like a business at that point. Um, I don't know. I feel like social media is so different now. I didn't see people earning trips. I didn't know it was a possibility. And I was almost through the whole first incentive, that incentive period before I even realized I was close to earning it because I wasn't even paying attention to it. So I earned it for one, we bought Mick in, we went to Oahu and it was amazing. And I was like, I'm never missing another trip. So now I'm very intentional when we find out where we're going on these vacations and I make them happen. Like there's just no option for me. Like I'm earning these trips and then I make it happen. Like I feel like so much of it is the way you look at it 
the way you believe in yourself, what you think you can do, what you know you can do. Because if you don't try, you're definitely not going to. But if you know you can do this and you put forth the effort, you can and will do this. There's so many people in my in this group that earn these incentive trips. It's not just for the top leaders. It's not just for superstar directors. It's not just for people that have been around for so long. They're really geared towards making it easier for the newer people to earn these because you get points for promotions. Like I'm a superstar director that I can't earn points for promoting. Like that's not an option for me because I can't promote anymore. But somebody that's new can promote multiple times during an incentive period and get tons of points for that. So these trips are really, really set up for newer consultants to earn them easier. So don't count yourself out because you just joined or you haven't been around long enough or because you haven't earned one yet. Like that means nothing. Like the possibility is there and it just started yesterday. So set your goal, get excited, and you have six months to make this happen. And it's during the fall when things are busy and people are buying the heck out of Scentsy because everybody wants their house to smell good in the fall and then Christmas rolls around and people are buying Christmas presents. It's the perfect opportunity to really amp up your sales and like talk to everybody about joining and blessing their lives with a Scentsy opportunity because you cannot earn level two without sponsoring somebody, multiple people and helping them succeed. But don't let that stop you because Sharing the Scentsy opportunity is so easy. Like you're offering something that could help them. Like don't look at it like you're doing it for selfish reasons. Like I need you to join my team. It's like, hey, you should join my team because this opportunity is amazing. It's so much fun. You can earn free trips. You can get free Scentsy. You can earn a paycheck. Like remember, you're you're offering something that's beneficial to them. And if they say no, it's it's really not a big deal. There are so many people out there that will take you up on it just said I had bad service. Um, take you up on the opportunity and come along with you and join your team because they need this in their life. There is something that Cincy can offer them to benefit their life or to be life changing for them. Like they might need the extra money or they might want the free Cincy or they might need new friends or want to make memories or earn free vacations. Like there are so many things Cincy can do for people in their life. So the first thing I'm going to show you really quick, I posted these yesterday in the group page, um, but I made trackers for myself, personalized trackers. There is a tracker on the workstation that Cincy provides to help you track exactly, but because I'm shooting for Bora Bora, my goals are bigger than what the tracker says. So I have my own trackers. I want to recruit and sponsor 20 people during the incentive period because you can't sponsor five people and expect five people to all promote to lead consultant and get you so many points like you have to remember 10 percent of people do you know 90 percent of the work it's not they're not you're not going to recruit five people and five people take their business to the next level and are super successful you have to like sponsor 10 or 15 people and you know three or four of them might do something with their business so don't set your goal really small because you're going to be you are going to feel like you have to pressure them and you don't want to do that you want to find people that are excited and work with them because you can't be more excited about their business than they are because it just doesn't work like that and you're going to waste a lot of energy so set your goals bigger than what they need to be so that you can make sure you accomplish the goal that you're wanting to accomplish. So I want to re recruit 20 people. So I have this on my desk and I also have it on my refrigerator because I'm a checker offer and I feel really accomplished when I can check something off. So this is how I'm doing it with my sponsoring. It also reminds me every single day that this is what I'm working towards. And then I have my monthly sales tracker on how much PRV I want every single month. Um, I have really high PRV goals for myself because I know what I'm capable of, I know what I can do, and I know what I'm going to do to earn this trip. So my PRV goals are really different than what you might want to do, and you might even want yours higher. I mean, so I have my own personal 
tracker here. You can make your own. You can print the ones from the workstation. This is also on my refrigerator and on my desk. Put your trackers where you can see them every day, out of sight, out of mind. So if they're in your face, you're gonna be you know, reminded to work on those every single day. Um, one question that I'm getting on Instagram all the time is, what do I do in my business daily that helps me earn these incentive trips? And like, like I said earlier, um, what I do in my business daily dirt to earn the incentive trips is the same thing that I do daily anyway. So I'm going to show you guys my planner. So I can't take credit for this system. The system comes from Chastity Robinson. That's where I learned it from. And I just changed it to match what I want to do in my business daily. Like the, I took her templates and changed them a little bit to what I want to do because we all work our business in different ways. Um, and so I made these address labels and stick them in my planner for every day. So every week, if you go through my planner, they're already in there and they're the same. Like every Monday is exactly the same. Every Tuesday, every every week I do the same things on the days of the weeks, but these are all the way through my planner, okay? This is literally 15 to 20 minutes of work a day. It's not hours of work because the thing is, is like, I do Scentsy so that I can have the freedom to be with my family and that I can do the all the activities with my kid and I can be a present mom and I don't have to sit at my desk for six to eight hours a day. That defeats the purpose of having a Scentsy business. That's not what I join for, right? So I wanna condense my to-do list into something that doesn't take me that long. Everything above that is a bonus if I have extra time that day, but these are the most important things I have to do in my business every day and they're in my planner. I check them off and then I go about my day. Now, some things that I do in my business that aren't on my checklist are like answer messages on Messenger because customers will message me at any time or um, if we have a flash sale, like I add in the advertisement for that or um, an LTO, I'll send out a text message on Project Broadcast and like that type of stuff is not in my daily but it's also not something I have to do every single week because it's different, right? So some things that I do in my business on I'll just go over like Mondays. So Mondays, I actually every single day, I do a VIP post. My VIP group, if you've been following me or you've listened to my training videos before, my VIP group is my bread and butter. It's my community of Cincy loving people that I spoil the heck out of and I post in that group every single day. It's not always about Cincy, but I definitely show my face in there every single day. That I even do on the weekends because I can schedule posts in there. Consist consistency is very, very key. You want people to just know you're the Cincy lady. Um, when they think of you, when they see a post of you on vacation, they automatically think of Cincy because you are consistently posting about Cincy in a, a you know, tactful way where it's not overbearing, but just intertwining Cincy into your life to where they just associate Cincy with you. Um, so I do that every single day. Uh, let's see here. Um, another thing I do on Mondays is customer thank yous on Project Broadcast. So sometimes I don't text back immediately, right? So if I get an order, an online order, I always thank them and then I send them mail. But uh, sometimes I'm busy whenever the order comes through. So I go back on Mondays and make sure that I have texted everybody that has ordered from me online through Project Broadcast. Um, if you don't know what Project Broadcast is, it's like an app that you can text from, that you can schedule text messages, you can make groups of people on Project Broadcast. So I have like a recent customer group, I have like my team. Um, there's a Cincy group for people. If you don't know about Project Broadcast, look it up on Facebook and you can learn. It's an amazing tool and I love it so much. Um, on Mondays, I also update my board app. So B-O-A-R-D-S, board. Um, boards. So this is also like a pre, it's like a keyboard with pre-made text messages. So it's another 
application you can use and implement into your business if you want to, but I changed my thank you text message. So I don't have to sit there and be like, thank you so much for your Scentsy order. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Join my VIP group if you're not in there. I have it in my board app and then there's something you can push on your keyboard and it literally like puts it in your text message. So it's really easy. Um, so I update that on Mondays. I connect with five people every single day. Okay. So this I did get from Chastity and I love this. So I comment on five people's social media that I want them to see my post. Okay. So say it's my customers. I interact with their post or I send them a message. Nothing about Scentsy. Um, I have one of my customers is having surgery today. So she was on my daily five and I messaged her and told her good luck that I loved her and I was praying for her like five people every single day. And they might not all be customers. They might be people that I would love for them to be my customer, but I interact with five people on social media every single day because social media is so smart guys. Like it knows who you want to interact with and who you want to see their stuff and who wants to see your stuff. It knows that by who you interact with because it's social media, right? So like if you're not being social with people, it's gonna think that you don't care about what's going on in their life and they don't care about what's going on in your life, right? So if you're interacting with five people a day and you're being intentful with that, they'll start seeing your post on social media, right? And you want them to see your post on social media because you're posting about Scentsy in your life. You want them to get to know you and they're not going to get to know you or see your Scentsy post if you're not having conversations with them outside of Scentsy. Um, I send out a weekly team email. So I send out what's going on with Scentsy um, or just a quick whatever. I send out an email and I'm, I'm just going to be honest, like I'm not 100% uh, consistent with that one every single week, but I really, really try to be. Um, I post on my team page every Monday. I post on my team page way more than that. Um, probably almost daily, but, uh, that's on my Monday and connect with three frontline. Okay. So that is what I do on Mondays and it seems like a lot, but I, I was done by like eight o'clock this morning. Actually, um, that was Monday. Today is not Monday. Today is Tuesday. And one of them is to do a training for you guys. So as I was getting ready this morning, I colored my hair, but I literally had my planner in front of me while I was waiting for the color on my hair to cover up these grays to, I had to wait like 30 minutes and I was like checking all of, all of my stuff, my task for the day. But this tells me what has to be done. This is like the foundation to my business, the things that make my business work for me and be successful and the small tasks that add up to be like really big, important things in your business. Interacting with people might seem so small, but guys, that's networking. That's growing your customer base. That is building relationships with people that will always come back to you and always want to buy Scentsy from you. And when you do that every single day, like it really, really builds up and matters in the long run. Um, your sending out your uh, thank you text messages. Like how many times have you ordered from somebody something and they don't even acknowledge you? Like that might not be a big deal until you order from somebody who does acknowledge you and then you're like, um, I'm not ordering from the person who didn't even say thank you to me. I'm ordering from the person that texted me and said thank you because they cared and appreciated me. So don't like skip out on those little things in your business because it adds up like those tasks that you're doing add up to sales and they add up to recruits. You are putting it in people's mind that you are a Sensi consultant and you're also teaching your customers how to be a Sensi consultant by the way you treat them. So you're you know, people that are buying from you, when you're texting them and telling them thank you or sending out a postcard to thank you, thank them for their order, if they ever decide to join, they're gonna know some of the things to do when they're a consultant because they get that from you. They, You're setting the standard in something that they're just gonna think is what you do as a consultant and they're gonna treat their customers good. These little things that you do every day in your business add up to earn incentive trips. You could work from six in the morning till six at night today 
and not do anything for three weeks. And it is not going to help you be more successful than if you worked 15 minutes a day, five days a week. It's really not. Like the, these incentive trips are not supposed to be super hard to earn and they're not. I promise you they're not. I've been on like, I don't even know, probably 12 or 13 incentive trips and they're not hard to earn if you're doing the right things in your business. So don't overthink it. Don't count yourself out. Don't think that you're not good enough or you're not qualified enough or you're not successful enough or you haven't been doing this or experienced a lot enough or you know have a big enough network. None of those things matter. Like it's the little consistency, consistent things that you do in your business every day. I, uh, a few more things that I do like weekly is like watch a training, um, post a product on my Facebook and Instagram stories on Wednesdays. I talk about joining on Tuesdays on my stories, like just break it down and figure out the things that you want to be doing weekly in your business, get little address labels and a planner and put them in there and check them off every day. It's, it's really, really simple, it's quick, and it gets the important things done in your business. It cuts the fluff out of your business. Like, you can make samples all day long and still never sell a single dollar worth of Scentsy. Like, making samples doesn't make you money unless you're doing the other things in your business, right? Like, those are extra things that you can do in your business, and they're good things to do, but you have to do the important things first, and if you have them in your face, it will really help you get them done quicker and more often because especially if you're like a checker offer like me, like this is in my face and I know that this needs done and it will bother me until I get it done. So I get my work done before I go do my fun things for the day. So that is how I earn incentive trips, guys. Like especially with, you know, recruiting and um, just letting the world know that I love Scentsy and it's a huge part of my life. It's not going anywhere and it's a great opportunity for them too when they see me living it, talking about it, posting about it for weeks, months, years. Like I live Scentsy and it's because I do the little important things in my business. So that's what I'm doing guys. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments, but I just want you to know, you're welcome, Michelle. I just want you to know that you are capable of earning this incentive trip. There are thousands of consultants that earn these trips, and the only difference between someone that has earned them already and somebody that hasn't is like a decision. Like, I'm going to do this. I have every resource at my fingertips. I can make this happen. I have an extra 15 minutes in my day to work my business. And if you're watching this video, you obviously do and you, you care about it. You care about your business or you wouldn't be watching me right now and you want to earn this incentive or you wouldn't be still watching me. Like just make the decision and then make it happen. And once you make it happen, you're gonna be so proud of yourself. You're gonna be, there's no travel like Scentsy Travel. They pay for your flights, your hotel. They give you extra money for like travel days, like food and suitcases. There's parties that they throw. Like there's, n and all of your friends, like so many friends are gonna be there. Like, and if you don't know anyone yet, you'll get to meet other Sensi consultants. And I love that so much. Like there's a reason why when people earn their first trip that they continue to keep earning because you don't, you're not gonna wanna miss another one. And I wanna travel with you. I wanna see you in these most beautiful places in the world that Cincy sends us to for free. So um, the income disclosure will be in the comments of this video, just so you know. And thanks for watching me, love you all, and I cannot wait to travel with you for free after we all earn this incentive trip. Bye.